So it's no secret that I've had my fair share of audio issues with my video, and it comes down to a couple of things. One, I have a 24 millimeter lens on my camera, so I have to keep the camera pretty far back, like it's way back there, to record me in the area I want to be recorded. Two, my office is full of windows, so it can get really echo in here, and we have hardwood floors, so it tends to get a little crazy on the audio end over here. So right now I'm recording on an external device that's like right here just out of camera shot, but a lapel mic, something like that is what I have to use. However, anytime I record on something external, that means that the audio file is completely separate from the video file. And it can be really confusing in the editing process to know how to sync the two together so you don't look like a bad movie and your mouth isn't moving at a different pace than your audio. So today I'm telling you how to sync up the two things if this is something you're having to do. So hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica Stansberry and I am your fearless leader here on this channel where I help you with hashtag all the video marketing things so that you can make hashtag all the monies. And I'm super, super glad you're on my channel. If you're new here and you are not subscribed, you should probably hit the button. It's big and red and shiny. And you know how like people are all like in movies, they're like, don't hit the button. And the kid's like, but it's big and shiny. I need to hit it. That's how you need to feel about the subscribe button. So hit that now. Okay. 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 So like I said in the beginning, I have had my fair share of audio issues with filming video and it's something we all struggle with for whatever reason we might need to record our audio on a separate device, whether that's a lapel mic plugged into your phone, or that's a completely separate audio device like the one I'm using, which um, by the way is a Zoom H1 recorder or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but there's sometimes situations where we need to record our audio separate from our video. But a lot of you are new to the editing field and you that might feel really daunting to you because you're like, I don't know how to sync that up later. Like I don't know how to make sure that this all works together. So we're gonna hop right here on this computer and I'm gonna show you how to do this in both iMovie and in Premiere Pro, okay? And so it will go across all platforms. Now, one tip I do want to share with you, especially if you're using iMovie because the syncing option is not really built in, is that when you start your audio recorder and your camera, start them very close to the same time. If you can start them at the same time, that's great, but you know, whatever. Then you want to make a loud noise that causes a spike in the audio and also a visual cue on the video. So that might be a snap or a clap. So that what happens is now in your audio file, you can physically look at it and see at the beginning that there's a big spike because you just clapped right on top of it. So it's like, oh, whoa, big spike. Um, but you can also see on your camera view when you're editing that you just clapped. So what you do is you sync those two together if you don't have an auto syncing option in your program. So that's just a quick tip. So let's get into it. Okay. So if you are working in iMovie, you want to import both your audio file and your video file whenever you're ready. You can totally do them at separate times or import them together. It doesn't matter. But you want to make sure that both your audio file and your video file are in the system. Then what you'll do is drag the video file down to the clip browser. And I like to spread it out like this because I can see it better. But you'll see here that you can see spikes in audio, these little things here or um, pauses in audio, etc. So you'll notice there on screen, you can see that before I'm adjusting my shirt and my hair, <laughs> that I'm clapping. So that clap was put in on purpose, right? So because I want to be able to sync that spike in audio right there with the one coming from my audio file. So I'm going to drag the audio file down. You can put it below or above. Um, in iMovie, I would put it up I would just drag it and like let it go wherever it wants to go. But then what you want to do, and you can totally like zoom in more so you can see things better. 
but you want to sync up this spike with this spike because I know that's where I was clapping, okay? So we want to drag it over and then we can listen to it and see if it syncs up. Now, um, but we'll listen. <laughs> so let's listen to the clap. So you can tell that it's it's right on top of each other because otherwise I would be hearing both audio files. So what I normally do here is I will um, mute this audio track. So the blue one, you just hover, uh, hover over it until you get this little up and down arrow and drag it all the way down. Now it sounds like this. Okay, so I can drag the... Volume up <laughs> um, of the green one, but this is the op. This is the external audio file that I brought in. It's not the one that's on the actual video. So that's how you do it in iMovie. Let's switch over to Premiere Pro. Inside Premiere Pro, the process is almost identical. You'll drag in your media, so both your video file and your audio file. You'll drag your video file over. And I like to zoom in um, so I can see everything pretty clearly. There's my clap. Now, if you forgot to clap, there's still going to be like patterns in your audio that you can match up. So like if I didn't clap, I know that I say, oh, crap, right there. So I could match that up. So here's my audio file. I want to drag it over and you'll see the spike in that right there. So then I just drag it and try and sync it together. Now, a lot of times with Premiere, um, you kind of have to drag. If you want to move it a small amount, you need to drag this little doodad over like a tiny amount and butt it up to it because sometimes it won't work. But you'll notice I got it almost exactly there. So let's listen. So you can notice there's a little bit of a difference in um, that. So what I'm going to try and do is back it up just a smidge, like a hair more, and see if that fixes it or hurts it. So that completely fixed it. So now what I do is I could totally mute this section, this audio file, but I prefer to just unsync it and delete it. So if you'll hover over it and click un right click and unlink, now you can edit the audio and the video file right there separate. So I click on the audio and delete it. And then I drag this one up so it's directly under. I just drag it straight up and then I select the two those two and link them. Now you don't have to drag it up like I just did. I just like to see them in that order. So um, that doesn't matter. But now it sounds perfect. So that is basically all you do. All right. So I feel like with all the editing tips I've given you, you have to be an editing pro by now, right? Like it's got to be a thing. Again, if you liked what I'm throwing down, make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you really enjoyed this video. And if you're feeling real frisky, comment below. You don't have to do all three, but it would be really cool if you did. If you want to hit me up in the comments section, let me know if this is something you've had to deal with because I need to feel like I'm not alone in the fact that my recording conditions are not the most ideal in the world. So until next time, bye y'all.